So what we're going to be doing is a, a very simple experiment which quite dramatically illustrates the concept of convection. Now in my experience, I'm sure many colleagues would agree, convection is one of these activities that you use a convection tube and you get a demonstration, but is there a way of doing it hands-on? Well there is if we can get the right sort of tea bag. And what we're going to be doing is the flying tea bag activity. What we have here are our year 10 triple scientists from Cardinal Newman School. And you can see that the type of tea bag we're using is the type which have a string attached. And the first thing we need to do is to snip off the ends and empty out the tea so that what we'll get, get be, be forming is a cylinder, a convective cylinder of tea bag material. Now, whether or not this experiment works does depend upon how heavy the material is, how much oil has seeped into the material, and it does work best if we've got a relatively cool room and obviously no, um, no breezes around. Now, having set up our convective cylinders, the idea is we set fire to the top. As soon as we set fire to the top, the material stood shots should start burning down. As it burns down, it's going to set up a convection current. It's going to be drawing air in. The warm air is going to be rising. And with a bit of luck, we should see something quite dramatic as the material burns down. This does depend very much, though, on the material of the tea bag that we're using. So, guys, if you'd like to light your... And we'll see if we can get them going sequentially. So we just light them at the top. You need to make sure that it is standing up. And sure enough, we get a flying tea bag. Now an interesting point for the students to consider is, why is it that the tea bag only starts flying at the end of the flight? And of course the answer is, even though we've got a convective column of air, it's only when the material is below a certain weight that the convective column will be enough to lift it up. 